adding transitions and animations to a slideshow. When you have your slideshow open, you can now add an animation or a transition to your slideshow. Let's say, for instance, you've got a picture that you've inserted, insert picture on your first slide. There's your picture. Now you want to add animation to that picture. Animation is the way the picture will appear when you show your slideshow. At the top of your toolbar, transitions, animations. So there's animations. You have to select what it is that you want to apply the animation to. Otherwise, the animations won't be available. So if you want to apply animations to your picture, you have to select your picture. If you have to apply animations to your title, you select your title. If it's to the uh, subtitle, you select the subtitle. If we select the picture, we can choose from quite a few different animations. Depending on your instruction, you will choose your animation by clicking on it. If I say bounce, the picture bounced in. Then on the right hand here, you will have to say the timing of that animation. Must it start on the click? What is the duration and what is the delay? Depending on your instructions, you can change clicking up and down your timing. You can change it to with previous, previous or after previous, depending on your instruction. After applying your animation, you will see that little one that appears next to your picture. That shows that you have applied animation to that picture. In the test on the exam, you will have to make a print screen of this page so that we can see that you've applied your animation. So it will be print screen, you minimize, you open a blank Word document, and you paste in Word so that we can see you've selected bounce, you've changed the timing or the duration and the start, and it's applied to the correct part of your slide, whether the title, the picture, or the subtitle. Transitions works exactly the same. If you add a transition, you can add a transition to your slideshow if you just select the slide. Also, how do you want your slideshow to appear? Must it be different options? You can just read your options and see which one you have to choose. Once again, you can choose if there must be sound or what the duration must be. After you've chosen your transition, you have to make a print screen again and paste it in Word so that we can see that you have chosen the correct transition to the slides. If you choose transition, make sure what the instruction says if you have to apply it to all. If you don't click on apply to all, that transition will only be applied to slide number one. If you click apply to all, all slides will be. If it's not applied to all, do you see that little star there? under each slide number, it means that each slide will have that type of transition. Speaker notes. I can add a speaker note to my slides. At the bottom of each of your slides, you will see that it says click to add notes. Now a speaker note, people, is a note that the presenter of the slideshow put at the bottom of the slide for extra information for himself. It's not available to the people listening to the slideshow or to the presentation. Only the presenter will be able to see those speaker notes. So if you add, have to add a speaker note, let's say to slide one, you click where it says click to add notes and you can type in any note or any uh, information that is given to you. You can highlight it, you can change it to bold, you can change the font, you can make the size bigger, 
anything that you can do, you can do on your, in your speaker note. Now, after adding your speaker note, you might be asked to show your slide in notes pages. So if you go to view, you go to notes pages, and there is your slide where the speaker note was added. If need be, you can make a print screen of this. You can go to Word. You can paste it in Word. So that the examiner can see that you've added your speaker note to the correct slide. Anytime, view, when you go back to your presentation, view again, normal. Then you are back in your normal view. Remember when you print your presentation, file, print. At the moment, it says full page slides. If I want to change it to handouts, I will click on the arrow next to full page slides and I can choose one slide, two slides, three slides, up to nine slides vertical. Most of the time you will be asked maybe to print it with three slides on a page. Here you can also print that notes page. The notes page is where you added the speaker note. So under Slides, you will click, you can choose either full page slides or you can choose note page slides, the ones that you've added the speaker note, or you can go to your handouts where you print your slides as a handout with how many ever slides are requested on that handout.